everyone and we are now well and truly into 2009 and it's been a great year so far i'm very 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 excited because um i've done lots of fantastic work as you'll be glad to know i did go through a little peak and a little trough there it was quite a low trough um because i realized when i was in devon with my friend uh, leander that um when i was playing some stuff in the car with him the the one that i was least happy with was tidal and i didn't think i had a problem with tidal but I since discovered that I had. Um, and there was something about it, it was kind of doing all the right things, like it was, you know, loud and had guitars in it and, you know, it had all the kind of bits. But when I listened back to it, I just felt really uncomfortable, like they didn't have any heart to it. And I wanted it to have some heart. So, uh, something really magic happened um, a couple of weeks, uh, in this couple of weeks. I came back and I was feeling a bit deflated because it felt like it, you know, I was, I felt like I was further away than I thought I was. Um, because I had to basically re rethink Tidal a little bit. Um, so uh, this amazing young man from India is called Ashrin, and he sings a lot with Nitin Sawney, and that's how we met. And um, every time he sings, I have to hold back the tears, because it's just so beautiful. He is so beautiful. He's got the most amazing voice. He also plays the flute, but it's his voice that just gets me every time. There's a song in there somewhere. Um, so anyway, so I... I the minute I heard his voice, I said, oh, please, yeah, I'd love to get you on my record at some point. This was like a couple of years ago. So, um, so then, so what, what happened then is that he, he has, he happened to be in England um, and he was like working with knitting. So I just said, could, could you come down for a couple of hours and, and sing some stuff for me? And as usual, I was totally unprepared and I hadn't done what I thought I was going to do, which was build, like, make him this part for the beginning of Polyfiller to kind of lead you into the song. Um, to have like a kind of moment of ushering. Um, but I didn't get around to doing it. And actually, I thought that maybe because Polyfill is quite a dark song, very dark song, um, that I thought it'd be a bit cliche to have a kind of this Indian voice singing over the top of it. Not, I don't really, I didn't really know how to describe that very well, but it's like you can kind of imagine that that's the kind of thing that somebody might put on a dark song. Um, and I just didn't want to do that. I didn't want to be ordinary. So um, I went and decided that. Tidal is a song that I'm having problems with, so I'm just going to stick him in Tidal, because Tidal is the least song that I would, you know, that you would expect to hear his voice on. And beautifully, he came and he sang and he solved uh, the problem um, by giving it so much heart and emotion. I was choking with Justine when he sung this particular melody, which I'm not going to play you because I want you to wait. I've got to save you some things, and this for me is like one of the most special points on the whole entire album, and I don't want to give it away. I want you to I want you to enjoy it for its first time the way we did. So then I spent um you know a frantic 24 hours tearing the mix apart literally just like right back. So there was it was just like I'd, I'd taken apart a bicycle and I didn't know how to put it back together. So I I I but I knew that his voice this particular bit that I loved. So I took it right back to that and I had that and my voice in the final chorus. And um and just worked out from that basically. And at one point I was just it was in a kind of a mess of tracks and a mess of EQs and I didn't know what I was doing and it was all over the place but I had to get to that point at the bottom to you know to, to find the space and and the, around Ashwin and me so um so I did it and um it just uh, in a really kind of crazy 20 hour non-stop in the studio I was just like so charged and I just saw exactly and heard exactly what I wanted and I just went for it and I came up with loads of great sounds and you know got Ashwin and he played his flute as well so we got some flute in there and um, I got Richie's drums in there because he came over and played some drums. And um, so I'm just, I'm not going to play any of Ushering because I want to keep it as a surprise. Well, I might play a little bit. I'll play a little bit. Okay, I'll play a little bit. Okay, I'll play a little bit now. Um, which is somewhere in here. Tidal, tidal, tidal. Okay, I'm not going to accidentally play the wrong bit. Hopefully. Okay. Okay, come in here. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I'll play a bit of this bit. That's not the bit, but it's pretty damn good. Um, so, yeah, so I completely changed the song, and I love it now. I really love it. It's my favourite one on the whole album. It's really great. And then right at the end, um, we got some kind of crazy uh, drums, which I put in, which is Richie, but I'll just play it on its own without all the stuff going on around it. Um, so it kind of, it kind of makes it half-time. I like it. So 
there we go so that's that's title and that's all i'm gonna give you because i was just so excited about it and i want to save it um so that's that song and then i had a real good go at swoon as well because swoon was another problem song and um i didn't quite manage it before i left um I oh, know I did, I did, I did, I did before before New Year. I didn't manage it before Christmas, but managed it before New Year and um, came up with some really great parts, which I really like. And it's really fun. And I'll just play you the first chorus. Um, so. Okay, so. I'm getting precious now because it's so close to you and I don't want you to hear everything. Stuck in a cinema or saving me from bigger and better throughout the uh, the song um so there's that one it's very exciting um and then i worked really hard on bad body double as well which sounds quite different from when you last heard it um but i'm not again i'm not going to give it all away but um what i did was i used this so i'm just going to demonstrate what i did um in bad body double uh actually richie played a bad body double as well so there's some good old drums in this one as well okay um oh come on come on come on Okay. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, right. Okay. So I did this. Alright. Can't hear it, but anyway, you'll hear it when you hear it. So that's what I did. And you might think that's a bit mad, but that's what I get like when I'm here on my own for hours and days and weeks on end. Um, and then, so anyway, I was feeling really good. And yesterday um, I played some stuff back to Tom and I'd been up, um, been up till, yeah, yesterday, 11 in the morning. It was, this was a mad 20 hour session. Mm -hmm. Oh, I wanted to, oh, oh shit, I've just broken it there probably. Um, anyway. Hello, come on, quick. Right. Um, so yeah, so I went, um, so I played some stuff to Tom. Tom lived here with me, he, he um, helps me out. And um, so I was down here, and I was playing him what I'd done. And um, he really liked it, and I was feeling pretty good. And then when he left, I was just thought, oh, I'm just, um, no, I'm doing it all the wrong order. All in, completely the wrong order. Um, I woke up after 11 o'clock. I went to bed and then I woke up at three, that's right. And I had a few hours sleep and then I went into the park. Um, I went into the park because I wanted a bit of fresh, fresh air, breath of fresh air. Um, and I heard, I, I looked at the sunset, which was really beautiful, huge red sun uh, over London, it's really great. And I went into the bird place and read a bit about birds. And then um, just on my way back to the house, it was really dark and there was nobody in the park anymore. Oh my goodness, um, really, really dark. And so I heard the sound of the starlings uh, and here they are. Oh, balls. Quick. I'm running out of time here. Damn it. Oh, shush. Recording. Oh, quiet. It was on. I'm ready to record. Yeah, all right. Just let's hear the starlings. Okay, let's do that again. Shut up. <laughs> anyway, can you kind of hear them? There. Yeah. Okay, there's a bit of starling action. And then when I came back, I listened to Aha, and, um, and I quickly wrote this idea that came out after it, because I need a space for Aha, the song for Aha after on the album. So here we go. Um, sorry. Okay. It's all vocal. Anyway, it's very, very rough, um, but I just love the energy of it. It's in 6A, it's in 95 BPM, and it's in A. Which is brilliant because it's a perfect gap that's now filled on the album. So that that is all my news, and uh, more soon, hopefully, a bit more finished with this new song, which at the moment, for some reason, is called Earth. But I don't know why it's called Earth. But it's going to have starlings in the background anyway. Okay. Bye. This is good. Getting lost in the uh, the dark in the woods. At least we've got a camera to record our final moments. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of know vaguely where I am. <laughs> 